Oh, I got a note. What does that say? Nose probe fragile. Gotcha, bro. Appreciate your pointing that out to me. And what we have here is a gorgeous Bachmann's mini planes. B-58 Hustler. Cold War era Mach 2 bomber uh, that flew, I want to say, between 1956 and 1968, I think, uh, to deliver hydrogen weapon on target I think that yeah that would be the one weapon there and one of the interesting features about it is that it had ejection seats not just ejection seats oh I see what he means by the, the the probe being delicate not just ejection seats but ejection capsules for the crew which I think was three I could be wrong on that and he'd already obtained these marvelous MPC mini plane versions of it, but I wanted something a little bit beefier to uh, have it, it potentially with, with, with spacemen surrounding it, although it's still a little bit too small, and I can live with it. Uh, and I also got out the rest of my fleet of Cold War era bombers and archaic helicopters that I've, I've collected. Uh, there's a Marks, a copy of a Marks Delta Dart, and there's a, another Delta Dart. My B-36s that I've made so much noise about. This thing, I don't know, we don't, I don't know what that is yet. Like a little, I don't think it's a P-51, I think it's something else. Here's some of these little sob. Look at that nice Marks F2H2 Banshee. Kind of large, impressive. There's a little Wana Toys. I actually had a Wana Toys piece in this little, this little jet. There's their logo right there. I'm not sure what jet it's supposed to be based upon. This is this is actually from a dollar store. A uh, A10 Warthog. They used to fly these out. Those out of uh, Hancock Air Base. And I was always impressed by that. There's an F. 47U Cutlass, I believe it's called, in both an F, F7U Cutlass, in both mini and a larger uh, example. I'm not sure who made this one. There's some statistical data there printed on the underside of the wing. No maker's mark on it. Nice hard plastic thing. This is just a little, I think it's a Tomcat from an Army Man set. Here's another dollar store. Stealth Fighter that I've, I've actually used that in some art. The red and blue planes remain unknown. No clue what they are. And then uh, this, this, this is, I love this thing, the Vertol. What's the number there? Vertol 107. Then they eventually adapted into the Chinook. Um, and Marks did one of these for their international airport set, although I'm not sure this is on Marks, so I'm not I'm not sure who it's by. For the amount of money I paid, it probably is not Marks, but I still think it's absolutely adorable. I think this little Apache style helicopter came out of the same set is that, although I, I, I can't recall. There's a little brooder uh, helicopter and then another I think that I think those are the, supposed to be the same model. No idea who this yellow thing is by. I absolutely adore it. A little soft plastic thing. Totally simplistic. I love archaic helicopters. Here's another Chinook style uh, made in China and here's uh, I have to open this up actually. I've got another one of these pinned to the oval wall. 
the little, uh, you know, the chin up style. And a uh, pride and joy is this gazelle uh, by Majorette here. I had, th I bought this when I was either 11 or 12. It was one of the last die cast toy pieces that I bought as, as a child, and it got some use. I actually just tried to re glue the uh, landing skids last night, and I think I did an okay job. Very, just delighted to know that it, that it survived the, the sands of time, and then got some other more modern die cast things that I, I'm not, not really into die cast. I'm into, I'm into the simplistic, plain plastic injection mold look through the rest of the little mini planes and a growing fleet of Cold War era bombers and fighters and archaic heliocopters and this is now one of the highlights of it and I see again what he means about that probe being very delicate uh, I'm not sure what I'll do might even just end up hacking it off so that I'm not self-conscious about it. It's, it, it, it the, the, the price was very, very modest. He gave me a good hookup on it. Let's see if we can get any markings off the bottom. I know the company is Bachman. Hustler. Bachman, Taiwan. Looks like it's got some landing gear retracted there. I'll have to sit down and fiddle about with it. And all good on the nose probe, bro. That's just, you know, that's showbiz. They were not really meant to last, were they? They were meant to be toys that were played with. And then maybe put away in a box. And I, as I keep saying, I'm the kind of toy collector that loves putting away their toys. And we'll get all of them back in their plastic and bubbles and sealed up in their correct containers and then whoosh off to Syracuse where there's even more mail awaiting. Oh boy. Bummer, I forgot to put these two back out with the rest of them. They're just little teensy like army man set. I, I, I'm not sure what kind of a plane that's derived from. I'll have to look it up. But I love this thing with it, its American decal American Air Force decals on it but I'm fairly certain it's the configuration for either a, a Chinese or a Russian jet and they put US Air Force tags on the wings simplistic injection mold plastic airplanes and helicopters with no more no working parts no moving parts nothing that can really be broken this is a rarity. I'm not going to be seeking out more of these. I'll, uh, I'm very pleased with the purchase. Just in case the vendor is looking in. Dude, you took care of me. Thank you so much. Don't worry about the nose The nose tip. It, it's just got to look good for some, some photography in, in some way. Conjuring up the retro-futurist vision of the early Atom Age. When we actually thought that atomic weaponry was, was, was good. I guess it is. It helped ensure... Uh, that we didn't have a World War III in the traditional sense, or at least not yet. If it was, if it was just conventional confrontation, the United States and Russia would have gone toe to toe very quickly. And it was, it was craft such as this and the B thirty six that deterred the the Soviets from messing with us. And I definitely want to celebrate that. And the irony of having a Chinese or a Russian jet flying in formation with the B-58 Hustler, although it's on a scale, is delightful. And actually, it might be in scale with it with, with, with the Bachman plane. Not sure. I'll have to look at it. And you can get model kits of the ejection pods. I'm tempted to. They look cool. I don't know what I'd do with it, though. Not a flyboy, don't know my way around the hangar, don't know the lingo. I know the word airframe. And I know that Jimmy Stewart piloted one of these in some publicity stunt. That guy ruled. Alright, off to Syracuse. <laughs>